Welcome to another parent teacher video lesson from the earlygiftedmanual.com, a free website for homeschooled children three to seven years old and their parents that promotes and develops giftedness at an early age. I am Gary Blank, the creator of that site and your host and facilitator for this video and all of the videos in my educational program. As the video lessons are designed to work in conjunction with the program on my website, I ask you to, at some point, click on the URL link in the description box below, and this action will take you to the earlygiftedmanual.com. By doing that, you will be able to put this lesson and all of the video lessons here on my channel in the proper context of the total program that I am presenting to you and your child. And now let me show you some ways in which you and your child can work with, with this set of 60 uh, attribute blocks. Um, I think the best way to start with any kind of manipulative is just simply to let your child play with them for a while. And then there, there doesn't have to be any structure in this particular type of activity. He, can, he or she can do pretty much whatever... Uh, uh, they want to do with them. They, they may want to sort them or make a design out of them or whatever. It doesn't matter. This is just a, gr a great way uh, for your child just to get familiar with the blocks and to touch them and, and get a, a bit of an introduction to them. So uh, once you've done that, and of course, as you can see, uh, I've spread them all out on, on the table here. And of course, that's what you want to do with your child, spread them out so he can see, he or she can see all of them. So uh, once, once you've done this uh, rather open-ended activity, um, you could uh, sort by size and shape into a template if you happen to have the set that has this nice template with it. And uh, that will be done like this. Um, as you can see, you just pick things out of the big pile here and uh, place them where they belong in the template. And of course, once you get two of something, you start stacking them up. And uh, I won't go too far with this, but uh, you can see where I'm going here. And you could go through, he or she could go through all 60 blocks, placing them in the templates and stacking them, and then looking uh, at some things like, well, how many are in each template and what do they look like? You know, how many of each color and uh, thickness and stuff like that. So that's a nice second step to take if you're fortunate enough to have the set like I do that has the template that you can work with. And then you could play a game with your child called, What's My Attribute? And uh, another, way, another way I describe it is uh, you, the adult, the teacher, is fishing from the pile and your child has, has to guess what attribute you're catching, so to speak. Uh, so let's put all these back in here. And uh, let's say you start doing this and you're put, taking them away from the pile, putting them in a little line over here. And your child is watching you, and as soon as he or she knows what attribute you're sorting for, of course she can uh, say it. And by this time, if, if your child is getting uh, good at uh, understanding these blocks, she will shout out, oh, you're sorting by color. And in fact, you are, and the color is red. So she might, uh, she might shout out, uh, oh, you're, you're sorting by color, everything's red, and that's exactly the kind of response you're looking for. Or maybe, let's see, you might do this. Start doing this. And by this point, she might say, oh, you're just pulling out all of the the squares, you're sorting by squares, and of course uh, you would say, yes, that's great. Um, let's see, what else haven't we sorted for yet? Uh, then you might try something like this. 
This might be a little tougher. Um, seeing all these things, but if, if he or she's really good, she'll say, oh, now you're sorting for size. You're sorting out the smaller sized ones. And as you can see, that's a little tougher uh, thing to figure out. But uh, what, what, if once it's done, uh, uh, once the two of you do this once together, uh, he or she'll be more on the lookout for that. And of course, the toughest one is to uh, sort for thickness. And I won't do that, but you'll have to be, uh, you'll be pulling things out of the same thickness and, and he or she will have to pay attention to that. So that game is called, uh, What's My Attribute? And as you can see here, now I've taken away, um, I don't know, I'm guessing about half of the attribute blocks that I had out there before. And we're, I'm going to show you how to play a game with your child called I see, uh, and then you fill in the, uh, the block. And um, before I show you that, uh, with any of these uh, next two exercises, you can, um, you can use as many or as few blocks as you want. For example, you could use all 60, which will be a bigger challenge or anything down to just a few, you know, even less than 10. It depends on, on the skill level of your child. So here's the game called I See. Uh, I'm going to say, I see, uh, some people like to say I spy because there's lots of I spy games. Uh, I think I'll say I see. I see uh, large, yellow, thin, rectangle so you've you've described one of the bl blocks that's out here amongst these and your child has to find it based on that description so um, he or she will be going through a process uh, in her in her head of, of elimination in her head to find uh, this particular block and um, um, he or she may need a lot of help or he may need no help at all. There's, there's no way of telling. But let's say uh, he, he finds it and there it is. When he finds it, um, of course, you should make him do just what you did. Describe the block using very precise language. He could say, this is a, a large, yellow, thin rectangle. So that's how you play the uh, I see a game. And um, perhaps we'll do one more. I could say I see a small blue uh, thin square. And of course your child is going to have to look at all of those blocks in there and try to pick it out through a through a, a thinking process in their head and of course here it is and and if she finds it have her describe it just like you did a small blue thin square so that's the game called I spy or I see a, depending on what you want to call it and here's another game that you can play with your child or perhaps even a group of children, two, three, or four children. Uh, and it works in that format also. And it's called the uh, What's My Block Game. And uh, as you can see, I have uh, some, some attribute blocks out here. Um, I don't have all 60 in the set uh, because um, I think to start out, you may not want to use 60. Uh, you may want to use less than that. It'll make the game easier to play. And in fact, you may even want to go to less than this to make it easier for your child the first, uh, first or second time around in the game. But uh, you'll be able to figure that out soon enough. So I'll leave that up to you. So what is the What's My Block game? How do you play the What's My Block game? Well, you, the parent-teacher, uh, uh, tells uh, the group of children, I'm thinking of a block. And that block, you can tell them that block is somewhere 
in this pile of block, blocks and they have to figure out which block you're thinking of and they do that by asking questions uh, and before uh, I go any farther I, I kind of forgot this make sure the block you're thinking of you write it down because uh, oftentimes I know I do I forget and of course that that causes big problems so I wrote down the block I'm thinking of here and of course you don't want the uh, your the children to see that or your child to see that so you can flip it over like this so sorry about that uh, back to the, the back to the what's my block game here so now your, your children know that you're thinking of a block it's here in this collection of blocks and they have to guess it by asking questions so you may have to give them a little bit of help to start the game out you could say well you know um, you might want to ask me what color is the block so one of the children might say well is your block red and you would say no it is not red and by saying that you know and your ch and your ch children will be able to figure out that you can eliminate all the red blocks then because we know it's not a red block so the block that that you're thinking of is still is now contained within this group of blocks these are no longer under consideration so I'm going to push those off to the side and uh, then maybe another child might ask well is your block blue and you would say yes the block I'm thinking of is blue so now it works a little bit differently uh, since it is blue children know that it is not yellow so uh, you or your children can do this that you can move those out of the picture and of course the more you play the game your, your children will want to do this and now look it's got to be one of these blocks because we've eliminated all of these so uh, another question right it's time for another question so uh, uh, and they might have a little trouble knowing where to go from here uh, so uh, uh, you might you might say to them well maybe you should ask me what shape it is and one of the kids might say is your block a circle and you would say no it's not a circle so we can eliminate the circles here and uh, another child might say well is your block a hexagon and you would say no it is not a hexagon so we can eliminate these two blocks <laughs> and uh, then uh, uh, a child might ask is is your block a square and you would say yes it is a square so of course now they can eliminate any block that isn't a square which is this rectangle this triangle and look they've now got it down to four blocks so they're getting closer and closer as they guess and um, perhaps uh, their next question would be uh, is your block large and you could say why well, yes it is large so you've eliminated the two smaller blocks and now it's down to two blocks so uh, um, they're going to ask uh, they could ask one of two questions uh, a child might ask is your block thick and you could say no my block is not thick and look by process of elimination they finally arrived at the block you were thinking of and that of course is the th large blue thin square so that's the the what's my block game kids really love this game my kindergarten kids love to play this um, and uh, I hope I'm right about this but I think it takes anywhere from four to eight questions to get uh, to the right block and of course it'll be a challenge for your children to do it to get to the right block and as few questions as possible and by all means uh, take turns let let them let one of the kids or your child think of the block and uh, you and the other kids could could ask the question so you know give everybody a turn at that 
and uh, it's just it's a fun game. Kids love it. They they learn a lot from from playing the game. Obviously, they learn a lot about sorting and attributes and and how to eliminate possibilities by asking questions. So that's the what's my block game. <laughs>